everything is energy. People have energy, animals have energy, trees have energy, and objects have energy. So pieces of art, paintings, they have energy too. We can pick this energy up when we're looking at the painting, just imagining how we feel when we're doing that, what vibration comes from the painting, how does it make us feel inside, the colors, the texture, the, the images that we see, the symbolism. What we can also do, we can sense the painting with the hand. It's actually very easy to do. Just take the picture and you place your hand on it and you can move it around a little bit and just connect to the energy that goes from the painting. Just really feel. Be open to any sensations that you receive. Does it feel light? Does it feel tingling, warm or cold? Is there any place in the picture which attracts you the most? You can do it either with your eyes open or with your eyes closed. Just let your hand guide you. Do you feel any pulling, any tingling? What is the vibration like? And feel free to explore. Feel free to move your hand. There might be particular places which attract you. And just keep asking, what do I feel now? When you're doing it for quite a while, you then might start getting images and even stronger, deeper sensations. You might be able to pick up the message that the artist wanted to give in that painting or even feel the artist himself or herself. What is the artist like? What is the message like? So, yes, keep, keep practicing and it will bring you to what new What did you levels. feel? <laughs> to be honest with you, I felt quite strong about this one. Uh, I felt like I could spend a good mm, half an hour exploring all that. No. I felt strong energy, pulling energy, that's why I mentioned pulling. Mm and different in different parts of the painting. I felt as though it invited me for more exploration, as though there was some mystery, some secret, a journey, mm. as if I could go right in and flow. Um, it's very warm, very cuddly, very inviting. And I also feel it has a healing energy, as though it's removing some blockages, as if it's like a flow which goes from my hands into my body, mm. and it's doing some work internally. That's what I pick up. I feel in your art, as we have many different symbols here, many different pictures, each of them has a particular meaning, so it would take a good, good time to explore all of them. Uh, what did you put into this painting? Well, this one I... Um, it's one of those... That this is based on Ian's boat, and I painted it on his boat. Um, so, and he took me... Um, I, I, I produced all these... Um, I had an exhibition in uh, for a festival, and I produced a lot of paintings there, so she, he really took care of me there. He kept feeding me, he kept painting, keep painting, so I was basically... Uh, you know, just painting and he was feeding me uh -huh. <laughs> lovely food. So it's uh, the warmth feeling that you, you that you get is obviously that and the, you know, the, the way he was taking care of me there. Uh -huh. um, but the, but I think, now I think this is, uh, this is me, but when I was painting I wasn't really thinking about I'm going to put myself there mm -hmm. uh, as a little girl. But I felt like a little girl there, you know, like... <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> the, you know, the, doing my playful thing and... Um, um, yeah, I felt very playful, and um, his boat is not pink, by the way. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it became pink, but it became pink. I don't know why, and I guess that 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 color definitely has a healing property and um, intention. Mm -hmm. 
So there's lots of symbolisms in there. I mean, I, I put the Buddha head in there because he, he's got, as you, you've probably captured in your um, mm -hmm. um, footage, is, um, that's Ian's Buddha head. So mm -hmm. that was on the boat. Mm -hmm. And the kitchen, and you know, lots of it is based on what was around, uh, but like the devil in the, in the sink. Um, that was in the sink. <laughs> that was in the sink. Good. So I'm um, still he is taking a bath. He's quite a happy devil. So I don't know who that devil is. Is that Ian? Is that my devil? Is that just a devil hanging around? I don't know. <laughs> now we have some kind of like whips and you know, I can some kind some of instruments in there. Some women. Yeah, those are those are my little uh, Muslim friends uh -huh. that started appearing around this time. They started appearing in the in the paintings, usually hiding. And then, you know, um, taking over actually, again, because I, I stopped painting uh, women in hijab for a long time. And I thought, I, that's not what I want to do anymore. Mm. Um, but they're back in here. You can see so them. So, <laughs> your characters appear in your paintings? They appear. Themselves. They pretty much appear by themselves. Uh, sometimes I see them and I outline them. Like, oh, well, you know, that looks like or whatever. <laughs> but um, it's, it's uh, what is it? It's, you know, Obviously, I draw them, so I kind of put them there. But I feel like the way they they are presented, it's mm -hmm. they, they as if they appear, and I have the um, tendency to just suddenly put mm -hmm. certain unrelated figures here in this. That's why I say they appeared because I don't know what they're doing in there. <laughs> you know, it's kind of a surprise for it's me to wonderful. put them in there. So, and then they have a space for themselves once. Yeah, they exactly. And now you know, I know I'm 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 doing them again, but in a completely transformed into a more of a colorful version of themselves. Mm -hmm. And of course, I think these are aspects of me, obviously, um, that um, I wanted to sweep around the carpet, but mm -hmm. you know, I had to. <laughs>